Hey there, future doctors. Today, let's dive into a topic you might not hear about every day, wound myiasis. It's as fascinating as it is vital to know about, so let's get right into it. First up, what is wound myiasis? Simply put, it's a condition where fly larvae or maggots infest and feed on the tissues of a living host, usually within an open wound. Yep, it's as gnarly as it sounds. Flies lay their eggs in exposed wounds, and when those eggs hatch, the larvae start munching away. There are a few fly species that are the usual culprits, the blowfly, flesh fly, and the screwworm fly. These flies are particularly attracted to decomposing flesh or the exudate from wounds. So, who's at risk? Individuals with poor hygiene, untreated open wounds, or those living in unsanitary conditions are prime targets. Bedridden patients or those with limited mobility, especially in hot and humid environments, are also at higher risk. And let's not forget the immunocompromised, like the elderly or those with chronic illnesses. Now let's talk symptoms. The most glaring sign is, you guessed it, visible maggots in the wound. The wound might also become larger, more necrotic, or develop a foul smell. Patients often experience pain, itching, or irritation. And there's a risk of secondary bacterial infections due to the tissue damage. Diagnosis is usually straightforward. A healthcare provider will inspect the wound for maggots. Sometimes imaging techniques like ultrasound or x-ray are used to check how deep the infestation goes. When it comes to treatment, the primary goal is maggot removal. This can be done manually with forceps or by irrigating the wound with sterile saline or antiseptic solutions. After that, wound care is crucial. Dead or infected tissue may need to be debrided and the wound must be cleaned and dressed regularly. Medications often include antibiotics to treat or prevent secondary infections and sometimes larvicidal agents to kill remaining larvae. In severe cases, surgical intervention may be necessary to remove deep-seated maggots and debride the wound. Prevention is better than cure, right? Proper wound care and hygiene are essential. Keep wounds clean and covered. Use insect repellents and wear protective clothing in fly-infested areas and, of course, improve sanitation and control fly populations in high-risk areas. Ignoring wound myosis can lead to severe complications. Significant tissue destruction, systemic infections like sepsis, and in extreme cases, amputation might be required. So, there you have it. Wound myosis is no joke and requires prompt medical attention. Early intervention can prevent complications and improve outcomes. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more medical insights. Stay sharp and keep learning.